Hey, this is David, the Shepherd School, and what we've got here is a, uh, a 308 Sentme rifle. And basically what happened is, after World War II, a bunch of German engineers uh, fleeing the war crimes tribunals or whatever, went over to Spain and started working for the Center of Technological Equipment. Um, and in Spanish, the, the, the abbreviation would be Sentme. They made a whole bunch of stuff, or Sentme made a whole bunch of stuff, but their most famous thing is this rifle. And uh, so much so that when you say set me, people think of the rifle and not the agency. So uh, after the heat died down, the, uh, the Germans went back to Germany, started working for HK, and took this gun and started producing it basically with, with some modifications as the HK-91. It's a uh, roller recoil operated gun, and, uh, and so some of the internal parts wear. And as you get this gun, one of the things you need to do is to see if it's safe to operate. And the way you do that is check the bolt gap, which is the gap here in between, you know, the, uh, the bolt. And the way you do that, obviously, you make sure the gun's clear. We've done that before. Lock it back. All right. Do the uh, the HK bolt snap, you know, where you just pop it, fire it. Okay. So once that you uh, you basically dry fired the gun, we're checking in here uh, the uh, the bolt face to see if this gap is correct. Now that isn't headspace. A lot of people think it is, but basically the headspace is inside the trunnion here, and we can't we can't really test that. This is an indication of it, okay? And so what you need is some automotive feeler gauges. I've heard about doing this with paper, but it, I haven't ever got it really to work with paper. And if this is wrong, the gun can blow up in your face. And therefore, I want to have gauges and not a piece of paper. The gap should be between uh, 0.3 to 0.5 millimeters, which is about... Uh, point, I don't know if you can see that, 0.012 to 0 0.020 of an inch. And this one I've got at the smallest, which I guess you could consider a no-go gauge, at 0 0.012. And I'm going to stick it right in there, and it will not go. Okay, So that means it is outside of its, its limits, and this gun is not safe to shoot. Just for the purposes of... Uh, of messing around. Let's try something a little smaller and see if we can get a measurable bolt gap. See how it goes in there pretty easy. I don't have to force it. That is a point zero zero one five or point zero four millimeters, which is way, way too too small for a safe fire. Try another one. And that won't go in smoothly either, and that's uh, that's pretty small. So, um, no fear, there is a way to deal with that. Because these parts wear, and you need to check this over time with your gun. Because these parts wear, they make some pieces that increase that bolt gap, and these are rollers. And we're going to show you in just a second in another video how to change those rollers out. So. That's how you check your bolt gap. It's not right. you got to change the rollers. And tune in and we'll do that. Thanks.